Okay, we're going to show you how we make the stuff. I'm David Strohmeyer, and this is Pedro Montoya. He's my foreman. We're going to show you how we make compost tea that was developed by the Texas Soil Lab. We use the five ingredients of five pounds each in a tote with a compost tea brewer, and it goes into a bag. We run that for 24 hours. So Pedro is going to weigh out the ingredients. We're going to put it in the sack. We're going to fill it with water. And then tomorrow we'll spray the leaves of the tree as a foliar application. So with Pedro Pongas, we're going to add five ingredients to our compost tea brewer. We're going to add organic compost, composted cow manure, and I want to say composted. It has to be composted. We can't use straight cow manure out of a barn or anything like that. Then we're going to add premium mushroom compost. Then we're going to add compost peat humus and earthworm castings. All five pounds each, all goes into a sack that is blasted with air and water. And we add fish, humic acid, that's to get the microbes growing inside the brew as, as it brews for 24 hours. And we weigh five pounds of each one of the ingredients out. Why five pounds? That's what... Uh, Kay Chandler told us to use last year and they uh, developed this formula and we just use it because uh, it works that's that's why and I could put six pounds I could put eight pounds it doesn't matter but five pounds seems to work pretty good and how much does that yield that's 250 gallons to 300 gallons for, for that uh, 25 pounds of uh, uh, ingredients that we add to the sack He's weighing the ingredients, five pounds each, from each one of the five ingredients that we're going to add, the solid ingredients that we're going to add. We'll add the liquid later. Now we're going to go over and add these ingredients to the brewer.
transferring the compost tea from the tote into the tank through this fitting here on the side on the power glass sprayer and, and it will fill up. You can see you'll be able to see the water level rise there. And then as soon as we get that tank in there, we're going to add water to it to the full, so the tank's full, we'll add our other ingredients to the top of the tank and then we'll be ready to go. We'll have to strain everything uh, that goes into the tank. And the reason for that is our spray tips will clog. S small minute particles of compost tea or humic acid or anything will clog the p spray tips. So we strain everything in the bag, in a compost tea bag. Now this is, what are you doing right now? We're preparing copper sulfate. We're dissolving the copper sulfate in water. If we put two pounds in three buckets and stir it two or three times, most of it will dissolve before we even have to put it in the in the tote. Pedro's adding the compost tea that we brewed all night to the root area of the trees. The live bacteria and the, the beneficials that come out of the compost tea are now being applied directly to the ground. Now tomorrow we'll do the same thing, but we're going to apply that to the foiler part of the tree. And there'll be a few little different ingredients that we add for insect control. And, and that is basically what we use compost tea for. We use it to enhance the roots and a direct application to the uh, foiler application to the leaves of the trees. This is day three of the operation. First day we brewed the compost tea. The second day we applied the compost tea to the ground as a ground thing to start the microbes uh, generated in the ground. Today, day three, we applied the foiler application, which is a similar amount of ingredients that we did yesterday to the ground. Uh, this, this happens, the foiler application we'd like to do every six to eight weeks, and the compost tea on the ground happens maybe once or twice a quarter. Uh, I don't want to say every six weeks because sometimes we get rains, it delays us. We have an entomologist comes in every two weeks and he gives me a report on what insects are in the in the grove and how if we need to spray soon or uh, within 10 days or uh, everything's good for now. If it's everything's good for now that means that we'll wait till the next cycle before we run in and start uh, spraying for the insecticide, insects that would be on, on the trees. So that in a roundabout thing is, is how it goes. It depends upon rain, it depends upon uh, temperature, how dry it is, and what we're trying to accomplish, whether we're trying to get the, the soil built up or we're trying to control insects on the spraying routine and that. So. That's, that's the operation day one, day two, and day three.